What was my uh, favorite part about doing Mr. Feeney on Boy Meets World? There is no greater aspiration than to have love in our lives, Mr. Matthews. I wanted to make sure, and uh, I made sure the producer understood that I didn't want to make fun of a teacher. Uh, they're too important to this country and they're underpaid. So I wanted him, Mr. Feeney, to be written with respect, which they were kind enough to do. And so I was happy uh, to do that, and it worked out very well. What was it like for us to work together when I joined the show? We've worked together so much. Oh, uh, well, it was easy, you know. Uh, we work well together. We respect each other's uh, talents, and uh, we know each other so well that uh, we can make certain that she learns her lines. <laughs> we work very differently, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then we, we would shoot it. <laughs> no, it was, uh, we, we worked, you know, for so long on St. Elsewhere mm -hmm. because we played man and wife on that and won Emmys and all kinds of stuff. So mm -hmm. we were pretty used to, and we had worked together when we were kids. We've been together for 68 years. So we've worked a lot together. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, Curtis. <laughs> I can tell you what my favorite Boy Meets World together, I can tell you the one that was my most unfavorite, something about a bee. There were bees and a, we were running around and they, they, did you know that they have a bee wrangler? You know, <laughs> like a dog wrangler, a chicken wrangler, they have a bee wrangler. And he anesthetizes the bee so he won't sting us. So Bill, it only lasts so long and Bill would, Say, okay, I can feel it now, I can feel it, he's singing. <laughs> and then they'd come and <laughs> take the pianist. I love you all. Well, I, I think your favorite, I know what your favorite episode was. What was the, it? the last one. Oh, yeah, that was nice. They all leave the classroom, you know. And Mr. Feeney, who's been kind of a hard-nosed guy, is alone in the, in, the, in the room. And he looks over at the empty desks, and he says, um, I love you all. And I thought that was a really nice way to end it. Class dismissed. Didn't he say class dismissed? Did I say that? I think you said class dismissed. Oh, yeah. I may have. Okay. It was lovely. It was lovely. Oh, I know. I won, I, I, my favorite one for me was um, when I told Fred Savage I gave him hell because he, uh, he was, he was playing. A, Fred is a good villain, and he was playing a noxious teacher and putting him down. He brought him up on charges or something, and I said, "You don't have." one ounce of teacher in you like this man does. <laughs> this is a teacher, Stuart. I'm not sure what you are. <laughs> anyway, it was a good episode for me. Uh, I was the dean and it was very, I like that kind of thing. With the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. What do we remember about the episode when we get married on the show? I, I, I enjoyed it. I remember I, I loved the dress, but we had trouble with my hair that day. So we ended up just pulling it back. And it was a, it's fun, you know, for older people to get married on camera. Like for older people to have love scenes on camera, that's fun. What do you remember, Bill? About I remember with the kids. that they were kids and they fooled around a lot and I kind of take my work seriously so I would avoid them and stay in my dressing room 
until it was time to come out and do my scene. While they fooled around and, and chatted and giggled and laughed and messed it up and, and then took it over and over again. And finally, I would come out and do my scene with them. And uh, uh, I, I think it worked that way. But you grew very fond of them. Hmm? You were very fond of them, oh, really. I, I he was. loves it when we go back and do these conventions mm -hmm. uh, and get to see them again. He yes. loves that. Yeah, I do. Mr. Feeney, you're up. Feeney! Feeney! All right, dismissed! All right, Feedback. It's all, oh God, that's incredible, right, Bill? Yeah. Feedback from teachers. It's, it's amazing. Uh, teachers uh, who felt uh, watching the show, watching Feeney, uh, inspired them. Uh, we get all kinds of... Uh, Tearful, they cry. Oh, uh, it's, it's really amazing. It's incredible, uh, the feedback. And it's gone on for so long that it amazes it's me. It's unbelievable to us. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Uh, but there it is, and uh, I enjoy it, and I enjoy a meeting with them and uh, talking to them about their careers as a teacher. Believe in yourselves. Dream. Try. Too good. Do you well, have any favorite lessons that Feeney imparted on the show? Well, those uh, those three th things at uh, the end, yeah. What was it? Um, do good. Do good. Uh, try. Dream. Dream, and uh, and then do good. Yeah. That that's the three things that uh, I remember that uh, Feeney uh, spoke about. And I think you know because of what's going on right now in our country. I think that Bill is kind of proud that he's a role model uh, for so many young people, all ages. Do you have any idea why the show is still so loved by fans? No, I really don't. Uh, I'm happy that it, it that that's that's the fact. But uh, you know, when you do uh, any kind of uh, play or film or whatever movie, uh, you never really know how it's going to turn out until you hear the audience reaction. And so it's been a pleasant surprise uh, for me that uh, the show has had such kind of repercussions with people uh, that they still talk about it. So that, that's, that's been a very pleasant surprise to me, uh, and very gratifying. 